Today we're testing out these five popular generators to see which one is the quietest or they're really kind of all the same. So we're going to be testing them all at 23 feet away using that decibel meter and we'll even throw in this little Honda just to show you what it sounds like up against the big guys. So we have the Honda 3000 watt. This is by far the most popular one out there, but it is the most expensive, costing almost three times the amount of all the other guys. Then we have the Predator 3500, the Westinghouse 4500 watt, and this has the most power just by a little bit. And then we have the Powerhouse 4500. This is a new model, basically from the old model. Basically, Predator copied the 3500, so maybe a new one of those. Champion 4650, and then we have the Honda 2200. So we'll throw them all together. I'll throw some numbers up at the end, and then we'll see how they do so let's get started all right we're going to start off with the Westinghouse first so we'll get this started up and we're going to do all the tests in the efficiency mode or economy mode whichever one you want to call it so we'll get it fired up and let it warm up for just a minute and we'll check that display a little bit on a couple of the generators as we do our test or even when we use that little meter box which I'll have a description on how to build one of those if you guys are interested but um, as we do our test, it'll be in efficiency mode on a low load of 750 watts, which will be provided by this heat gun and this hair dryer. So the first test at 750 watts will give us our low load reading, which is basically going to be the low decibels. And then when the generator needs to work harder, we'll put it on a higher load, which will be about 3000 watts. And you can't really see right now because of the frame rate that I'm recording in, but this does say 0.75 kilovolts on it, or it's basically 750 watts. So we'll go ahead and start the testing. And each one of these tests will get a little bit shorter as you guys kind of see what we're doing. So what you want to do is listen to how the generator sounds and listen for the tone and for rattles. And then what we're looking at is basically the low decibel numbers that we're looking at here. It's about 62 and a half. And while you guys are here, definitely smash that like button for me if you guys like the video. And subscribe if you want to see more. And definitely ring that bell so you don't miss any other content. As we continue on and get the high load test started, we're going to turn that hair dryer on all the way. And then this says 1875 watts, but I normally get about 1700 out of it. So we'll turn that on. And the hair dryer is now all the way up along with a heat gun. So we should be running just a little over 3000 watts. We'll go ahead and do the high load test now. So you guys can kind of hear that this Westinghouse kind of has a little more of a rattle as to opposed to a couple of the other ones that you will hear later when it's under the high load. And after letting this guy run for a little bit, looking at about probably 73 and a half decibels. So we'll move on to the Champion now. I actually like this generator a lot just because of the build quality and construction. If you guys notice after we get it fired up, after we use this little manual choke, which this is kind of a different thing on the Champion, which I don't mind it, it doesn't bother me, but the way this generator sounds, the tone, it sounds great. It's kind of a low motor sound. And also there's like no rattles, it's super tight. So it makes it ultimately really quiet in the end. So now as you look at the numbers as compared to the Westinghouse, now, a couple dBs may not seem like much, but if you were standing here, you would immediately notice the difference between the Westinghouse and the Champion. It's actually quieter and it does sound better. So now we'll get the hair dryer going again, along with the heat gun. We'll do that high load test. And as we take a look at the numbers, remember that the Westinghouse was around 73 and a half to 74 and a half decibels. And the champion's kind of hovering around 72 and a half. And also the motor tone is a little bit quieter. It just sounds better in my opinion. So now we'll go to the Predator. This guy is super popular for being one of the quietest generators out there. We'll do the same test at 750 watts. And then I'll show you up here on the display just so you guys can kind of see. So let me run through the toggle here real quick. We got 123 volts. And then we'll switch by. So now you can see it's using basically a 60 hertz and that's 740 uh, watts roughly. So we'll go ahead and do the test now again. So now you can see this generator is running roughly about the same where the Champion was, if not even just a pinch higher. And one thing with the Predator that I, I kind of don't like, this generator also kind of has its little rattles as well, kind of like from that wheel kit and just inside. Now you can fix all that stuff, but, you know, to me, that's something I shouldn't have to deal with. I just want to be able to grab the generator and go. And so now as we look again, we'll do that high load test. And this is the only generator 
where the overload light actually came on at 3000 watts because that's where it's rated for at 25 amps which you can see just over a little bit and then 3050 watts roughly we'll even check this little meter just to kind of show so here let me turn around for you guys real quick here and so as you look at the the wattage on here we're at over 25 amps and just over 3000 watts And so now as you look at the decibels here, pretty much almost exactly the same as a champion from before. Maybe just a pinch quieter, or it could be roughly about the same, but I'll average the numbers at the end so you guys can see, and I'll put them up on a little chart. But we'll move on from this test and we'll go to the next generator, which will be the Powerhouse 4500. So we'll get this one fired up. And this is a new version of their old 3500. Kind of comes with a new RV plug. And I did a review if you guys want to check it out. So we'll put this one in efficiency mode and get the test started and do the exact same thing. And then I'll show you guys the meter as well, just to kind of show you, because this one actually puts out a little bit more power than the Powerhouse or, uh, excuse me, Predator did. So I'll show you in a minute. And as you kind of listen to this one too, it, like the Predator, also has rattles with the wheel kit and a few other things. It just doesn't sound like it's tight like that Champion is. So as we move on, we'll do that high load test now again. Show you guys the difference here. And I'll show you guys the meter up on the powerhouse real quick so you can see that this one actually puts out a little bit more power than the Predator did. So here, let me show you real quick, come back. And so the other one was putting out about 3,040 watts. And as we take a look here on the meter now, um, we're at 3,075. Now that could be just a little bit of a discrepancy on the meter or whatever, but it just kind of seems like, you know, it's putting out a little more power, but we'll continue on then with the test. And much like the Predator, the numbers are kind of the same, if not even a pinch higher, which I was kind of surprised. But if you listen, you can kind of hear the wheel kit and just a little bit of a rattle going on that might be picking up actually onto the decibel meter. So that's one of the main things I don't like about those is that, I mean, and again, I can fix it, but we'll move on go to the Honda. And look at that, you barely even touch the Honda start and it just wants to fire up and run already. And this is a great unit, doesn't have very many hours on it. So, and I'm wondering if the wheel kit might change the results a little bit, but when I tested one of these a long time ago without a wheel kit, the numbers were pretty much the same after this test. So um, to me, I don't think it really had that much of a difference, but we'll do the low load test. And as you kind of listen, you could barely even hear the Honda rev up at all on that 750 watt load. But as you look at those numbers, definitely a little bit quieter. And this generator does sound good. It's got that lower tone. It sounds a lot like the Champion. So overall, I mean, you can see the numbers there. It is a little bit quieter than the other ones. I mean, it's not by much, but just noticeable. So we'll do the high load test now, see what it sounds like. As you hear the generator revving up a little bit, doesn't sound bad. Kind of a, a lot like the Champion, but a little bit different tone. As we take a look at the numbers, overall, it's kind of looking like it's a little bit lower than all of them, maybe tied with the Champion very very close but you can see where all these generators come in they're all around the same so the predator the champion and uh, as far as the power horse all really close and now we'll throw in the Honda just to show you the what the little one does and we'll do the same test basically with the Honda and I really wish that was a 2500 watt model it definitely would make it killer but we're doing the 750 watt load basically and you can see there that I have the heat gun on at 750 and it says 780 there but we'll come back and then we're going to turn this one off and we'll just turn on the hair dryer only because that'll give us about oh, 1700 watts and we'll see what it sounds like so now under the same load that everybody else started with it's 750 watts you're coming in at where that champion was basically with the big Honda being just a little bit quieter and maybe even around where the Predator was, but pretty much the quietest ones out there is the champion, the Honda, and the other Honda. So now as we do the 1700 watt test, we'll just kind of see what it sounds like with the little generator as opposed to the big ones. And as we take a look at our power meter here, and again, I'll have description or even throw a link out that way you can see how to build one of those if you want. But it's 1700 watts, and we're not looking at the low numbers, we're looking at the high numbers because I've tested this several times. And we should be at about 72, 72 and a half decibels at this spot at 23 feet away, which 
Some people do a 21 foot distance test, some do 23, it just kind of depends, but overall you kind of see that it doesn't matter if it's a bigger generator or a smaller generator, they all kind of come out the same and the tones are just a little bit different, but we'll throw the numbers up here so you guys can see with the Honda being the quietest overall, but not by much. Look how the Champion was just right there. It was actually pretty incredible how close they were. The engine tones were definitely something that you could take note if you were to listen to these that the Honda and the Champion definitely sounded the best as far as how quiet they were and their tone. But overall, I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to smash that like button for me and subscribe. And until then, I hope to see you guys next time.